I have a Tannen 80D DSLR and I have a Tannen RP mirrorless camera. They're both connected to the same house network, so they both appear in field monitor at the same time. Let's take a look at the 80D first. So the camera is currently in stills mode, in program mode, and it will change the controls that are available based on what the mode of the camera is. So if I switch it to time value, I now have the shutter speed, exposure compensation, and the ISO available. And if I tap my metering button, I'll also see my aperture, my current aperture for the current values. And that will remain on screen for as long as the camera's metering timer is set for. Now if I switch over to aperture value, I have my aperture controllable. If I tap the meter button, I'll see my current shutter speed. If I switch the camera to manual mode, now I have full control over the time and the aperture and the ISO and of course things like the color balance, including the preset, which I can set up any way I'd like. Now if I switch the camera from manual focus to autofocus, now I have a manual focus control. I also have an AF button. And I can reposition this wherever I like. I can zoom in. And now I can adjust the focus to get it exactly wherever I want it. Notice also I can tap the screen to declutter. I've got that set up in, in field monitors settings. And if I take a photo, the photo will be taken. And I'm not using the review time in the camera, I'm using review set up in field monitor to display this review photo for as long as I have it set up for. And I can simply tap OK to return to my live view. Let's switch the camera to movie mode. I don't have a manual focus control, but I, I can still reposition my autofocus and have that come up. And based on how I have the camera set up for the autofocus method, now it's set up in AF for face tracking mode. I can set a focus point there, and that point will track as the camera moves. Obviously, if I hit AF, it'll refocus. It will also turn on my readouts for things like the exposure value that are set by, the again, the metering time that's set on the camera, and it will go away after that time is over. If I hit standby, now the camera's in recording, I can still autofocus, and I will get the readouts based on the metering time. So I can adjust that back down as I see fit. So let's go take a look now at the RP, see what's different in the RP. And the main difference is that cameras like the RP, the 5D Mark IV, several others, the more modern cameras, send audio level information over Wi-Fi. They're not sending the audio itself, but they're sending both the peak reading and the instantaneous value of the right and left channels of audio. So we're seeing that readout, which will appear automatically in movie mode for those cameras. The other nice thing is I'm in manual mode, manual focus on this camera. When I turn my magnification on, I can still move this focus point. And now if I come up and focus the lens, I can see that live and I can move this point around, which is something I can't do on the older generation cameras like the 80D, where when it's in manual focus mode, I cannot reposition that focus point. But again, most of the other things work as you would expect. When I turn the meter on, the metered values come up just as they do on the camera, and they'll disappear at the end of the metering interval. Recording works much the same way. It just turns on, and again, the metering will come and go. But in this case, the metering only appears for a very short time. The same happens if I press the button on the camera, the shutter button, half press it. I'll see the metering values appear, but they'll go away when I release it.